They come out with both Hines and Taylor on the field at the same time. And they come out throwing. So last week the game got away, but that's your blueprint. Well, there he is. The blue chip running back. That's what he is. He's got five or six Chiefs around him. He never does fully hit the ground. He's got a pickup of about four. Chris Jones, one of those in on that play. That's so often the case. Had two sacks last week in the game against the Chargers. Well, and he's off to a great start this year. I mean, everyone knows about his pass rushing ability, but really Chris Jones through two games, I think he's playing some of the best run defense I've seen him play in his career. And when he wants to turn it on, I mean, it's he's a man amongst boys out there. And if he continues to do that, this defense is going to be right near the top and rushing. And that was the only area you always were like, hmm, are they stout enough against teams who are going to pound it at you? So far, they have been. I think you're going to see a lot of it today, though. Toe-to-toe -to -toe against two big people. Yeah, he's right up against Quentin Nelson. It's third and six. They're coming after Ryan. Here, Justin Reed, and that's nothing more than the communication up front. The year so far, exactly. everyone. That's the biggest Boy, play. They needed it, too. Here's the give to Taylor. Well, and that's Chris Jones disrupting, taking on the double team, and just showing you his ability, you know, to be a all-around defensive tackle and you'll see him move around a little bit today but you sometimes talk about steel on steel it's Quentin Nelson against Chris Jones and attempts for 66 yards Buffalo leads seven to nothing back to Jim six guys up in the middle this ball's got to come out right away throw a quick route to the right that's where Pittman resides down and have to respect Jonathan Taylor so you're gonna get one-on-one -on -one matchups outside if you want them AC brings it pass perfect that's Doolin with that's here he just did that's where they're coming from. Pittman again makes the catch. Off the slot on your left. Matt Ryan tries to get to a screen right over the top. And it's really just. From the end zone. Down the sideline. And it's Plevin. And you see the blitz off the edge. Reed. And under duress. Means. First down. Fortunate to get out of that with the penalty. And not going to get out of this one though. Yes. Jones is back in there, by the way, for the Chiefs. Here's second and eight. Oh, and he had his man. To just take a breath. Watch this. Play action, so you got time. Pause. Oh. And it just makes the game hard, so we have to play action. There's your play action. There's down the middle. And Pittman actually caught it. Looked like for a moment. Actually did. For 25 yards. It felt like the ball just hung right there, and he grabs it. Sneed out in points this year. And it ain't going to be a lot higher after this week. I mean, I'm guessing they're still going to stay there. That's concerning. What is that? Throws it away. Crazy. Plays. Here's a second and ten. Hines able to get away from Clark for a moment. Ref didn't like that. At the 46. Can they take advantage of that big break? They've got Pitt. He's got a first down. At the 29, there's Pittman in traffic. He does get it off right away over here. Oh, there goes Taylor. Taylor for the first. Wow. Watch the center 78. That was an outstanding play call. Over the top, they go. A good job of getting an arm in there anyway to help break it up. That was Reed. All you do is come out and throw it deep. Fires and intercepted. And Matt Ryan comes to Indianapolis in his home opener and upsets Kansas City in a thriller, 20 to 17. Wow, Frank Wright, great coach. Matt Ryan, been a great player, long time. Turns back the hands of time, I felt like, at the end there. But really, the last play, Jim, I want to say, Smith-Schuster looked like he didn't.